the sympathy, says the sick son, not knowing that mother is sick of the knee. For she has given herself over to curses passed down from ancestors shackled with the same curse renamed. name. But he never knew that this disease was destined to plague him. So he questions the meaning of faith as he questions her love. For if God is one who demands the life of his only son, then surely this poison is a divinity commanding her neglect. And he's grown weary of carrying demons like luggage, beckoning him to bend his knees to clouded skies and empty heavens. For you see, there is no room for sympathy in this grotesque religion of addiction handed down to them. Still, they offer shallow vows of repentance until they feel the wrath of withdrawal drawing them back into a posture of prayer, to a higher power demanding absolute obedience. And I, I sit by on idle hands as mother has learned. To lose your life, you will surely gain an eternal fix. As she has taken up and a chariot engulfed in the flames of heroin those syringes. And now, now the sixth son embraces his role of martyr, eagerly awaiting the second coming of the dope man, ready to consume his final communion consisting of the flesh of narcotics and distilled blood. And one last time, he is filled with the Holy Spirit of such unholy spirits. And now they are set free from the inequity of drunken nights and strung up days. Remembered always, as the patron saints of Shadow.